I do believe, is the example we're going to look at from your uh, worksheet. Okay. Um, so the same premises apply, just like if we were solving this as a regular equation. Okay. Um, so we've got to start by adding and subtracting things because our goal is to get a right here, which is representing a matrix. Okay, that is representing a matrix. It is not a single number. Okay, um, we are trying to get that by itself, just like we would in a regular equation. So you will notice that this first matrix right here is completely by itself. It's not attached to a variable or anything like that. So we are going to begin by subtracting that from both sides. So we're going to subtract that from the matrix that is by itself over here on the right side. So it's gone on the left side. Be careful that you bring that negative down right there. Okay, that will affect your answer if you do not um, bring that down. So when we subtract this matrix, negative 11 minus negative 9, subtracting a negative, same as adding positive, so negative 11 plus 9 is negative 2. 4 minus negative 1, 4 plus 1, so that's 5. 19 minus 1 is 18. Negative 31 minus 5 is negative 36. Now, before we can do anything else, we got to get rid of that negative. So you can look at it as dividing both sides by the negative. You can multiply both sides by negative 1. Uh, main idea here is that it goes away on the left side. Your signs are going to change on the right side. Now, will there always be a negative there? No, there will not be, okay? Uh, it just so happens I wanted to include this example because it had a little bit of everything. Um, so we are changing all the signs in the matrix on the right side. Now, typically, at this point, if this were a regular um, equation, just a linear equation, what would we do at this point to get A by itself? We would divide. We would divide by this number in front of the variable. Well, this is not just a number, it's a matrix now. And I mentioned a second ago when we were talking about the inverse, there's no such thing as dividing by a matrix. Okay, there's no such thing as dividing by a matrix. Uh, now, you may or may not have heard uh, it phrased this way, but um, division is the same thing as multiplying by a number's inverse. Okay, dividing by two is the same as multiplying by one half. Okay, um, so we are going to multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of this matrix that's attached to the matrix A. Alright, so since this is a 2 by 2, let's just get in a little bit more practice. I'm going to go over here to the side and I'm going to find the inverse of this matrix right here. Okay, so the inverse of this matrix is going to be, I have to start by finding the determinant. So negative 1 times negative 3 minus 0 times 3. So we've got 3 minus 0. It's 3. Okay. So the, in, or the determinant is 3. The inverse would be 1 third times uh, A and D switch places, B and C change signs. So when I multiply by one-third, all this time I don't get so many fractions. I get negative one, zero, negative one, and negative one-third. There is one fraction in there. So that is the inverse of this matrix. Hmm? That's how we what? 
So on the left side, I'm not going to write it out, but we're, we're multiplying both sides by that inverse. It's going to go away. All we're left with on the left side is A. Now this is very important. Since the order of matrix uh, multiplication matters, the inverse is always going to be listed first. And then we will list the matrix that was already on that side. And then we can multiply. So a little bit of practice here with matrix multiplication again. We've got negative 2 plus 0, 5 plus 0, negative 2 plus 6, 5 minus 12 kind of skip the step there. I hope everybody's okay with that. If you need to write it out more, that's fine. Okay. And so then, final step of simplifying. Add those numbers. That should be the answer. Now, you're more than welcome in the middle of this when you find the inverse to use your calculator to confirm that you calculated the inverse correctly. Um, then if you want to confirm that you did this matrix multiplication correctly, that's fine as well. Okay, So I do want you to practice doing this completely by hand on a couple of these and then um, we'll go through an example where we just fully rely on the calculator, but right now